all right what is up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Atiyah. you can call me tia or sunny whichever one you like and i am back with another video so today i'm going to pretty much show you guys how i transform from looking like a troll looking crusty and dusty to looking like a baddie but yeah let's just go ahead and get started like we're about to get started she just blow dried my hair some more because i obviously didn't do that good of a job <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to go get my nails done now. My hands are so childish. Like, who told my fingers to be this small? Who said they could be this small? Like, ah, uh, ah, uh, like, these look like nubs. <gasps> oh, snap, I'm late. I thought my nail appointment was at 12.30. <gasps> So I just finished getting my nails done. I feel like this lighting is just horrible because it's so cloudy outside today. I got them super short this time because I'm super clumsy. I work with my hands and I just need, like, I need to do stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I need to, we want to be good when we're moving our hands and stuff and not hitting them on objects because I'm known, I'm, like, famous for doing that. Okay, so I am back at home in my studio space. That's why you see this backdrop back here. Oh, let me show you guys how my nails look like in some good lighting because that lighting in the car was, was trash. Like literally a piece of garbage. I really like them. This is Bubble Bath by OPI and they look really good. But I'm about to do my makeup now. So the first thing I'm gonna do, of course, is prime my face. I love this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I try not to, ooh, excuse me. I try not to use that much of it because I really like it and I want it to last. So I'm only gonna use two pumps and put this all over my face. I actually need to touch up my edges a little bit all right so to touch up my edges i'm going to use some of this ebin 24 hour edge tamer and just use my edge brush of course and i'm just going to run over my edges a little bit just to clean them up and like clean this little i don't know what that is well i know what it is it's hair Duh. but i don't know why it's out but no, my edges look transparent. That's crazy. I have edges, okay? Like, don't play. Don't comment down below. I don't have no edges. Where are her edges at? They, they there. And then I'm gonna take some of this a lot of body and put this like in the front. This is a, what are these called? These are styling strips. So I'm gonna take this and wrap my edges up all right so since my skin color is like tan right now i don't really have a foundation shade that really matches and i don't honestly i don't feel like going to the store and trying on all the foundations and see which ones match so this one is the closest one but it's a little 
smidge it off. And the same with this one, the Cover FX. Uh, this is the Cover FX Total Cover Total Cover Cream Foundation. This one's a little off too, so I'm gonna mix them and hopefully it comes out good. Then I'm gonna put this one down first. Like it matches, but then it don't match at the same time. It's weird. <gasps> Did I just hit pan? Oh no. I mean, on camera it looks really good. But I'm gonna mix in like person, it looks a little off, like just the slightest bit. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the CoverGirl Matte Mate Foundation. This is in D10. And just like a little bit of it. Put this all over my face. All right, so now I'm about to use this Beauty Bakery. This is the full coverage, the Insta Bake. It's their three in one full coverage concealer. It's smooth, it conceals, and it's contoured. You contour. Mm. And this shade isn't that good for me. Like, it's super light. So, let me go ahead and blend this out quickly. Cause I don't know how fast this dries down. I don't, I, it's not blending out good. And I'm blending it out like I would a regular concealer. Like my, the Fenty Beauty one, when I blend it out, it doesn't do like that. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it like, I can see like lines. Like right there, you can really see it. I don't know what that is. No ma'am. No ma'am. Let me get my Fenty Beauty because eh, it's not doing it for me. It's not doing it for me. Yeah, let me just use my Fenty Beauty because that is not it. All right. Now that is more like it. That's what I'm talking about. That's highlight, okay? That's conceal. That's smooth. I can contour with their concealers too. Like, it's not giving me spotty. Wow, so I didn't even show you guys what setting powder I was using, but I'm using this is the CoverGirl, um, CoverGirl True Blend Minerals Loose Setting Powder. They finally came out with a nice setting powder, like a loose one. They have a lot of powders, but not a loose setting powder. So I like this one. I crease up so bad, so I have to always blend it out first before I set, so. That's crazy, right? I know. That's the struggles of having hooded eyes and just fat under eyes. All right, so I'm about to contour my nose and contour everywhere. So for my nose, I just go like straight down. I kind of go on the, the, the top of it to make it softer and then bring it up into my brows. Give myself a nice little nose job, you know what I mean? But also, if you guys haven't seen my Savage X Fenty try on haul, go watch it. Because Savage X Fenty is really giving y'all everything that y'all need. You need a good bra? They got you. You need some cute little lingerie? They got you. You need some loungewear? They got you. For my brows, I'm gonna take two different products. So I'm about to use the ColourPop. Um, this is their brow color in Bang & Brunette. And then I'm also gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. And this one's in Caramel. So I'm starting off with the ColourPop brow color. And just making a line underneath. And then I'm gonna blend it up after I make my, my line. So, I'm about to take the Beverly Hills, um, why am I saying Beverly Hills? The AVH, Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, dip brow gel, and then I'm gonna create like little brow hairs by just going up like this. Okay, 
right, so I'm about to take this Norvina palette. This is my first time using this palette. And y'all, what? Like, this, this is amazing. This is, this is really cute. So I'm about to take E3, which is like a nice mustard color. And I'm about to put, ooh, I didn't want it to look like that. I'm gonna put it all on my lid. Dang, that's like, that's really pigmented. Beauty gurus be like, oh my gosh, the pigmentation. Oh my God, this is really pigmented. Nah, this is really pigmented though, for real. IRL. But um, yeah, I'm about to put this all and this is my MAC 221 brush. I love this brush. But I'm pretty much putting this all on my lid because I'm creating a nice smoky eye today. I'm going to use C5 and place this right on top. Dang, that does not look like what it looks like in the palette at all. Like, that did not. I want it to be a brown, not like... I don't know what this is, I guess. Let's just roll with it. So I put some of C5 and E5 under my eyes too. And now I'm just going to, I don't know if I want to do a wing. I may, I may not. And then pop some lashes on. And then do my highlight and everything. So now I'm just taking some of this black liner. This is from CoverGirl. And I'm just using this on my waterline to really intensify the look. I kind of forgot how I looked with like eyeliner on. I remember I used to like it so much. Now I just like put a mascara under there because it makes my eyes look bigger. This looks weird to me now. Yikes. So I used this one second. This is the Balm Mascara. I used this one first though because it gives me more volume than the balm mascara the balm mascara gives me more so length than volume and this one gives me volume over length but i only use one mascara on my top i'm talking about for my bottom lashes for my bottom lashes i use two mascaras <music> Now I'm gonna highlight a bit with this champagne pop. This is from Becca. And I'm gonna pop this right on the apples of my cheeks. Oh, and I also popped on some lashes. These are actually my brand of lashes. I just don't have them in stock right now because I'm doing some things. So yeah, but I really like these. These are sunny, so when they come back out, copy a pair. And my favorite lip gloss combination this right here all right so i'm gonna put this on first and then put the gloss on and then i also picked up this beauty bakery um baking spray and i'm going to spray my face with this to set everything and lock it into place i hope this is good like mm, it smells Weird. It smells like vanilla. Mm. I don't really like it. I don't like it. Well, just as I thought, trash. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys found it useful, helpful, and hopefully inspiring. If you guys did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next. Definitely subscribe if you're not already part of the gang. But yeah, so definitely follow me on Instagram at naturally.sunny. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Every angle, babe. Every angle is my angle. Like, what was you saying? Yeah.